billion dollars, which is our biggest ever electric vehicle investment in a five-year period. And as we do that, we're going to be adding 13 new electrified vehicles to our product portfolio by 2020. And when we do that, more than 40% of our nameplates globally will be electrified by the end of decade. And that's up significantly from a very healthy about 13% today. And what's driving up us to do this? Well, first, it's customer needs, first and foremost. And it's followed by regulation, getting back to what I mentioned earlier. And we're really building on our Ford power of choice strategy. And as you know, that's offering a wide range of products that meet the driving needs while improving fuel economy for folks, but also reducing greenhouse gas emissions. And this, uh, this power of choice strategy includes everything from fuel efficient EcoBoost uh, engines, to diesels, to hybrids, to plug-in hybrids, and of course, full battery electric vehicles. And today's news really builds on our leadership in electrification. Ford is America's largest, second largest electrified vehicle seller. And we are actually the nation's top seller of plug-in hybrids. And if you look at this since 2011, and the introduction of our latest uh, generation of electrified vehicles, Ford has grown our electric vehicle sales more than any other major automaker. And in 2013 and 2014, we've been closing that gap with Toyota. And globally, we're, ex we're really excited because we're expanding our offerings in a number of different markets. So a couple of examples. Uh, Taiwan and Korea, where we offer the Mondeo Hybrid today. And importantly, in China, we announced this a, a few months back, we're bringing the C-Max Energy Plug-in Hybrid and the Mondeo Hybrid to that market next year. So we're really looking forward to that.